ago. Um, I wanted to meet David from that because I just thought it was just what you could pack into one with the air supply and so on. And uh, just in 60 seconds, you could kind of tell immediately that was someone I want to work with. So, and I think Animal Kingdom is like one of the best David movies in the last 10 years or something. Um, I also think one of the opening shot of Crossbow is probably one of the best shots in the history of cinema. <laughs> it's a shot of the bush. I don't think you can use it. Landing on the crack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, this script came along. I met David about a year before I did the script and then read it and thought it was kind of mind blowing. And um, it's incredibly original and, and uh, sort of vicious. I thought it was strangely funny as well. <laughs> I, I think it, I mean, I, I get what you're coming from. I, but in terms of like your, the look of your character, the shaved head, or the, the buzz cut rather, and the teeth, I mean, was that something that was sort of laid out for the character, or did you, what else did you bring other than what was written on the page? I don't even think there was a, there was a character description, right? It's just saying it's from the south. But, but I, I don't think there's anything. Um, I don't know, I, I saw these photos of a bunch of guys kind of. <coughs> <laughs> I don't think that was kind of, it was quite a popular haircut. Yeah. Still is. Yeah, no, I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of trendy now. It's always like the main genre. Well, what about working with Guy? I mean, he's, he's uh, really intense in this movie, and I mean, all your, your it's, it's the two of you together, basically the entire time. And almost, that's almost still than the people that you guys shoot. So, uh, what was it like just spending all that time with him and what, you know, sort of pick up from him as an actor? Uh, I mean, he's a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it kind of makes it easier. Um, but I don't know, it's, his part is really, really difficult. I mean, it's, it's basically like a constant force. I mean, he, there's never any, well, very, very rarely a time when his pressure lets up. I don't quite know how he was doing it, so I don't really know what I learned. I just learned that it was possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you could really feel, even when we're just sitting in silence in the car, it's, he's still sort of radiating. Um, there's a sort of vibration. And you can kind of feel it, and it, it, it kind of provokes tons of reactions. I sure did love dogs. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I want to ask you, David, the intensity, I, I had not heard or read one review reaction from this movie where the word intense was not mentioned in a good way because I mean that's really just it's, to maintain that for the duration of the film. So I understand that you're a fan of John Carpenter and uh, I'm wondering if, if the work with John Carpenter has inspired you not just with Animal Kingdom but with the rover as well. Not really. I mean I really like John Carpenter, I know that has never and I'm sure I absorb everything that I've ever seen by osmosis somehow. But no, I, I don't, uh, no. I don't think it ever, there's never been a moment when John Carpenter has entered my thinking.